All right, in keeping with LEDs you probably haven't seen before, um, these are for uh, automotive taillights. So these are red LEDs and they're specifically designed for taillights. Um, they have no other use. <laughs> Who wants a red LED? I know. But uh, they're, they're designed for, for, for taillights. And these are designed for taillights, okay? And they're different. And uh, so let me, uh, let me show you them uh, under high magnification. I'll show you, the, show you the difference between these two. All right, uh, so this one is, has legs. So it's meant to go in a PC board. And this one does not have legs. It's not meant to go in a PC board. So uh, I mentioned once before that uh, solder is not a friend in the automotive world. So they really don't like to have soldered assemblies. Uh, but this one does have uh, this one does have soldering, and uh, so for some applications, this one this one should be okay, and uh, it might be a uh, the high tail light, the middle tail light in a car, uh, just just high in the back window. Uh, that might be where this one was used, and this one may be one of the uh, edges of the car tail lights. Uh, so I think you understand this one. It's just a LED, red LED in a reflector cup, and then there's uh, then there's some some legs on it, so you can put it in PC ports. So that one's pretty self-explanatory. But this one, this one is different. Uh, this one has big fat legs. Oops, and it has big fat legs, and so this one is meant never to have solder. It's meant to be welded. So just like you weld the tabs on a battery. Uh, these are meant to be uh, arc welded together, uh, tab welded, and so there's no solder anywhere in the tail light, and so you can make all kinds of geometric designs with these things, and in 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 lines, in mat in, uh, in a matrix form, and a round round form. You could just weld these up any way you want to, and and sometimes they're actually part of a frame. So there's a bent piece of metal, and that bent piece of metal is the shape of the tail light, and then these are arc welded into that frame. So that frame is also another part of the conductor, but it's, it's a bent metal origami thing. Um, and so these are meant to, uh, these are meant to be arc welded together. Now I don't have an, I don't have a battery arc welder. You'd think I would, uh, but I don't. Um, but what I did was I took a bunch of them and I did solder them together. I know that's a no, no, uh, but uh, I did solder these together just to, just to turn them on and, and show you that they are, that they are uh, red LEDs and they are very, very bright. So you can imagine uh, these being in a in a tail light in a car. And there you go. So that's uh, that's definitely a LED that uh, I don't think you can buy off the shelf. I I don't think these are catalog items. I think uh, you have to be a car manufacturer and talk talk to uh, LED manufacturers directly to get things like this. Anyway. I'm sure you have not seen that one before. And I'm sure people want to see the other one lit up, so here you go. Uh, this is one of the uh, the ones with the legs on it. So there it is lit up. All right. Automotive tail light LEDs. Okay, and the second part of LEDs you've never seen before. Although you have seen them, you probably aren't able to buy these. Um, you might have one in your pocket right now. I would think so. And that is the LED that goes on cell phone uh, cameras, the flash. Okay, there's a flash. You use it as a, as a, as a flashlight uh, or you use it to uh, help take a picture. And so uh, those are quite clever and they've gone through many generations and I was involved with lots of those. I, I, I worked a lot on, uh, on LEDs that went inside cell phone cameras and I also worked a lot on cell phone cameras. But um, So these are some of those and this uh, says rejects. So I don't know why these were rejected. And then I have a, uh, have a bag of a, of, of a different type. So uh, let's, uh, let's move the camera down and I'll show you these and, and how they work. All right, uh, yeah, these are pretty old ones, but uh, they'll show you the concept of what, uh, of what they are. We'll try to tear one apart. So they are little white LEDs and they are in little surface mount packages, um, but they include a lens. 
and not just any old lens, not just like a little bubble lens that most LEDs have. These actually have a little Fresnel lens in them. And that little Fresnel lens uh, tries to direct the light uh, in the pattern of what you would want for a, uh, a light for a camera. And what would that be? Well, you really want to project a rectangle into space somewhere. You're going to take a picture that's a rectangle. Well, you want to have light that's the same shape as that rectangle because any light outside that rectangle is wasted. So in order to be very, very efficient, you want this to match uh, the, the, the cone angle of the lens in the cell phone camera that's being used. So that's a lot like the, um, the headlight that I, that I showed. The, 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 the lens designer will need to fit a particular shape and a particular uh, brightness levels. They'll, they'll have the center brightness um, uh, specified. So on, on, on this picture, here's the center of the picture. And then over here in the corner, uh, there might be a spec, uh, maybe 70% uh, to the corner, there'll be a spec. There might be horizontal specs, there might be vertical specs, and there might be a, a uniformity spec. So it can't just have holes in it, it has to be uniform to a certain amount. So there'll be all those specifications, and the, the lens designer has to pay attention to all that stuff. So let me see if I can't open one of these up. It's just an LED on a little lead frame, and then a little lens. There's a little plastic piece around it, and then the lens is, is glued in there. And so, yeah, let me see if I can, um, if I can get, get one out of here, and then, uh, and then we'll take a look at that un under the microscope. Uh, but since I've got this lens set up, let's look at the other ones here that were marked rejects. Uh, where are they? Uh, yeah, they're here. So let's take a look at those. Um, so these, these, you can kind of see the Fresnel on these a little bit better. It looks like an actual Fresnel lens. Um, so we'll pull, we'll pull a couple of these off of here and see if we can't, see if we can't open those up as well. And then I'll, uh, I'll show you both of those under the microscope. Um, before we do that, wait a minute, here's the back of those. They're just a little, uh, a little contact pad, right? And they actually have a little hole there. I don't know why they have a hole in it to mount it down. I don't know why they have a little hole, but anyway, let's let's look at these under higher magnification. Okay, here's uh, the first one, and uh, under the under this high magnification, it's very easy to see the Fresnel, and you can see that it's an oval shape. It's not a round shape, so that's that's one of the tricks of trying to get a rectangle out in space. If you have a square LED and then you put an oval lens on top of it, then hopefully it magnifies it more in one direction and less in the other direction, and you'll take that square and stretch it out into a rectangle. So there we go. And it looks like we have a little, uh, a couple, like a little clip leaves on it. Let me see if I can flip this thing to the other side here. I just have it on a PC board so I can move it around. Yeah, there's the other side. It looks like it, looks like it might come apart. So let's, uh, let me get an X-Acto knife out here. Let me see if I can surgically open this up. All right, there you go. I've, I've taken these little clips off and the lens came off and this is what's left over. This is kind of like a real tiny little PC board with the LED in the center and then uh, phosphor put on top to make it white. And then that little funny little chip there is the uh, reverse voltage protection diode. Uh, so that's built in to the assembly here. And then the little lens just clips on top with these, with these, little, with these little clips. So we can see that. Let me, uh, let me flip it upside down so we can see the other side. Uh, yeah, so anyway, it is a it is a little Fresnel lens and Like I said, it's oval and trying to massage the light in one direction. So Let me uh, Flip it back around and there you go. So that's how That's how one of them was built. All right So let's uh, let's take a look at the other one All right, uh, here's the other uh, other other LED and you can see it's uh, it's off centered, so I'm not quite sure what that's all about. I'm not sure why that was designed that way. I didn't I didn't design this one. Um, it does have two little mounting holes in it. That's kind of cute. Let's uh, flip it over, and it's just uh, two gold pads in the back. So I don't know if this one disassembles or not. Let me uh, let me try to get an exacto knife in here and see if I can split this apart. All right, it did come apart. So we can see this cute little Fresnel lens over here. I like that. Uh, and there's a little LED here. That's the back of it. I think that's the back of it. Flip it over. No, that's the front of it. Wow. 
that's really weird. So that one looks like there's no LED in it. So these are just packages. So this was some type of, uh, some type of investigation and there's no LED mounted on this side of the PC board and uh, just, the, uh, just the lens. So these were probably mechanical samples sent to the uh, cell phone manufacturer to verify that the design was correct. No need to spend more energy by putting uh, LEDs in them if you're just interested in the mechanical aspects of things. Um, so yeah, there you go, no LEDs in these. Maybe that's why they're called Reject. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. So we've seen uh, tail light LEDs, stop light LEDs, whatever, um, and uh, LED flash uh, for cell phone cameras. And here you go, see one, here's a, here's a completed assembly and it consists of an LED plus a Fresnel lens.